They claim this floor mattress floating island is strong enough for you to drive on, which means we have to drive on it, right guys? I mean, they can't claim you can drive on it without us testing that you can drive on it. Welcome back to Adventures of Spackman, everybody. This tent may look familiar to some of you. This is the Space Acacia one to two person tent. I already have the four to six person tent, but I reached out to Acacia after my first video and they agreed to send me the floor. That's what's new about this tent, guys. I got the floating floor and the canopy that makes this a four season tent. That's right, with this canopy, they claim you can use it in the winter time. We'll be using this in the winter. Here comes Remy, my trusty assistant. So I'm really excited about this floor. It took about 20 minutes to blow up without Acacia's pumps. I do not have the pump yet. I highly recommend if you get the floor to get their pump because it will make it a lot easier. I had to hold it against the nozzle the whole time and modify one of my pump's nozzles to make it fit. So I highly recommend getting their pump if you get their floor. The awning has two configurations. Set up in this way, it makes it a four season tent but you can also set it up as a canopy where it comes off the front with these included adjustable poles. It has a little clip right there, a little tensioner that puts tension on the pole so it doesn't move after you extend it. It's got two of them for your doorway to open up the canopy and make an actual canopy over your, your tent door. So you can hang out in front of it. If it's raining, you can hang out in front of it. If it's sunny, you can hang out in front of it. Put your camp kitchen in front of it. You can do whatever you want underneath your canopy. Set up in the four season configuration, it's not the prettiest. Because it's meant to be used in all four seasons, you have to fold it and then Velcro it together to make it completely encase the tent, to make it a double wall tent. And double solid walls is really what makes a tent four seasons. With double solid walls, there's no wind that can, ex that can get in underneath the outside wall and into the inside wall, which, which makes it a four season tent. I can't wait to use this in the winter time and see how much snow it can hold. Cause up here in the Northeast, in the Adirondacks, we get a lot of snow. So this is gonna see some snow this winter. I'm interested to find that out. Let's go inside and check this floating tent out guys pretty dark in here that's better now as you can see it's just like the four and six person and if you're interested in how to set this tent up i'll link that video down below that goes through the whole setup of these tents but the main difference between the one and two person to the four and six person tent is the doors there's only one door on the one to two person tent so you don't have the back entrance so you only have the one awning coming off the doorway too other than that the tents are identical this is an inflatable led light bar that Acacia sells for their tents. You can pick this up to add it to your Acacia collection, but it comes with a little remote control. <laughs> and it's got a, a magnet on the back, so you can stick it to anything metal that's magnetic. It looks like the bolt and the hubs are magnetic, so you could store it there if you wanted, or put it in the front of your doorway, stick it to the front poles, the door poles, and then when you come in, you can turn it on. When you go out, you can turn it off. That's kind of cool. Let me, let me show you that. It's stuck right on the pole by the magnet. And now you have a light switch coming in and out of your doorway. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. You may be wondering why I'm in my front yard so close to my Jeep. Well, the answer to that question is they claim this floor mattress floating island is strong enough for you to drive on, which means we have to drive on it, right guys? I mean, they can't claim you can drive on it without us testing that you can drive on it. It will also make me feel a lot better about floating this tent in the water. So, let's yeet this tent off the floor. Oh, wait a minute. I think I need to show you the floor a little better. Behind the wall is a blow up tube and this prevents splashing from getting into your tent. It also has this rubberized floor that Velcro's in place of the floor that goes with the tent. And that creates a six inch barrier for splashing to avoid getting in your tent when you're floating. 
The design is pretty darn cool. Let me know what you guys think of this design in the comments down below. Now let's get this tent off of here and put the Jeep on it. Well, there you go, guys. You can drive on this mattress. I don't feel any air coming out of the nozzle, and I am parked right on top of it. So if you're wondering, it holds up. Let's get it off of there. Move, run, move, move, move. The stupid things we do. Thanks for watching this one, guys. See you on the next one. Now, since they claim this is a four-season tent, hold my bear while I make it a hot tent.